Yo, what's up guys? This is a Moab I got on the map resistance with an MK14 in about 4 minutes. My perk setup is sleight of hand, quick draw, and stalker. My specialist is hardline, steady aim, and assassin. I'm using a silencer and rapid fire on my gun, and I'm playing on a 4 sensitivity. I'm doing my normal route for this map, which is control on the outside. Staying on the perimeter is really important for this level because going in the middle of the house, you're pretty much asking for trouble. You need like two other guys helping you in the middle to watch all the possible directions you can get attacked from. The thing about this level is that it's really big, but it just doesn't seem like it because the streets are really long and narrow. It actually takes a long time to run around the entire map. That's why they play this in Ground War. Uh, usually Moabs take me the entire game to get and I end up calling them in with like 15 seconds left on the clock. I only go in the middle if I'm playing against a team of like no prestiges that really have no idea what they're doing or if I gotta go get a ballistic vest. Against anyone that actually knows what they're doing, being patient and patrolling the outside is your best bet for getting Moabs. If you chill in the middle for too long killing people, they'll start spamming their flash grenades and stun grenades and that gets really annoying. I get so angry when I keep getting flash grenaded over and over again. When noobs get killed, they repeatedly throw their stuns and flashes when they spawn. And if this ever happened to you guys, you know how annoying that can get. Like, I remember back in the day when this game first came out, Blast Shield Pro made you immune to stuns and flashes, which was great. Getting your specialist meant you didn't have to worry about being blind or stunned anymore. Now Blast Shield Pro only gives you a resistance to flashes and stuns, not immunity. They really screwed up with Blast Shield in this game. Think about how many different types of explosives there are. You got Martyrdom, Dead Man's Hand, Grenades, Semtex, C4, Noob Tube Attachments, Noob Tube Secondaries, XM25s, RPGs, Smaws, Javelins, all the different kinds of killstreaks like Reapers, AC-130s, Osprey Gunners, Predator Missiles, IMSs, and barrels and cars in the environment. And with all these different kinds of explosives, they give you one way to protect yourself, which is Blast Shield, and it doesn't block a damn thing. It's the most useless perk in the entire game. You think if they were going to give you one way to defend yourself against the arsenal of explosives people have, they would actually make it like a useful perk. This game had the potential to be the best game ever made, but when they decided to put all these death streaks and all panic knifing and all the other stupid crap, it just killed it. Death streaks literally help nobody because when you get a kill with them, it's not like it goes towards your kill streak. If you kill a guy with Dead Man's Hand, you don't respawn with one kill towards your kill streak. All it does is penalize the guy that's playing good, and it doesn't do anything for the guy playing bad. It's more embarrassing to be in a death streak than anything. If I died six times in a row, I wouldn't want the whole game to know I'm playing that bad by making me explode like a damn nuclear bomb. Like, you guys already know how annoying panic knifing is, and it completely ruins any form of close quarters combat in the game. When a noob sees someone and he gets nervous, he squeezes his controller and it makes him knife automatically. If you try shooting someone that panic knifes, they're always going to kill you. It's so stupid. The tactical button layout is way better than the default anyway, but people still use the default because that's what they're used to. Like, everyone I convinced to try the tactical button layout has never gone back to default. Once you get used to it, you realize how much better it is to crouch and go prone with the aiming stick. Like, I don't ever drop shot people, and I still use a tactical button layout because you can duck behind cover way faster, and you can lay down faster when people start shooting at you while still keeping your finger on the aiming stick. Like, honestly, I think I've only knifed about 300 people total since this game came out a year ago. I always try and shoot people because knifing makes your gun unfireable for like 3 seconds. Like, that stabbing motion, and then he has to like take the knife away, and then he pulls the gun back out. I don't like that in-between time where I can't shoot. Because if there's more than one person there, you can't kill them both. They, the other guy's going to shoot you. Like, I'm so happy about Black Ops 2 making the panic knife obsolete. I'm not sure what they did exactly. I, I don't know if they made it a two-hit knife or they took away that crazy auto-aim that locks onto people and makes you lunge super far when they're close to you. Uh, I just know it's not going to be a huge problem like in this game. I'm really looking forward to playing a new game, and I'm definitely going for number one on Black Ops 2. So you guys know what's coming up on my channel next. Uh, I'll be uploading a 50 gun streak I got on the map bootleg with an ACR. And that is my MK14 Moab on Resistance. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.